this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks and today we're going to talk about Cosmo. Not only Cosmo, but Cosmo versus Vector. Vector's the new release from Anki. That's right, Vector's coming to you. This is a tale of two brains. The brain that you know and the brain that will be. Anki just started an early Kickstarter campaign. So we're going to go over the differences of Cosmo and Vector. All right, now what makes Vector so different than Cosmo? Well, Vector's brain lives within the tiny little body of Vector, as opposed to Cosmo. Cosmo's brain, for majority, does not live in Cosmo's head. His personality lives in his body, but his brain, well, in reality, his brain lives in your cell phone. For the most part, there are some brains in Cosmo, but the majority of his brains are right here in your cell phone. Because he's got a, a wonderful coding block configuration. You can code by putting the blocks together. And that's pretty awesome, especially for children. My kid has a great time making Cosmo say and do the things he wants it to say. And since our kids are the future of robotics and home automation, we need kids that are going to know how to code even if it's starting with block configuration. And that's awesome, because we want our kids to be smarter than we were, at least I do. So Cosmo is an awesome robot, but he is a toy, which Vector promises not to be a toy. You won't have to feed Vector. You won't have to tune Vector up. Cosmo doesn't need to be tuned up. That's a toy mentality to keep kids entertained. You know, even though I believe he's pretty entertaining. Look at his face. And he hates being picked up. Cosmo, who is an awesome personality. But his brain does not live in his awesome little body. It really doesn't. Without your cell phone app, Cosmo will not play Vector. Comparing it to Vector, who's going to have an onboard processor that will be his brain. It will be connected to your Wi-Fi. And that's another thing about Cosmo. Cosmos, when you have it set up to an app such as this, you're on Cosmo's Wi-Fi, not your Wi-Fi. And that's a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. You can't do anything else with your cell phone. You can't do anything else with your tablet because you're disconnected to Wi-Fi. And that's a bummer. It really is. But it does not take away from the positives of this but little Vector package. is different. Vector is going to have his brain within Cosmo. So that's cool. And Vector is going to be able to do more than Cosmo. With all of Cosmo's personality. That's right. You're going to get a home assistant in Vector with Cosmo's personality. And that's pretty awesome. So what makes them different? Well, Vector is going to be autonomous. Technically... Cosmo is not autonomous. So, what are you going to get with Vector? I believe you're going to get a usable robot within your home. The only disadvantage is pint size capabilities. It would take quite a bit of time for Vector to travel across the floor in my home. So Vector will be like an Amazon Echo or a Google Home in a stationary place, but with the personality and movement within that range of space. So like on a small coffee table, I see Vector being very successful. Morbot doesn't move at all, and he doesn't do anything that Vector's gonna do out of the box. And that's sad for Morbot. Vector's gonna be a cool, sleek looking little black robot with all the expressions of Cosmo built into it but he will be always on, always available to assist you with your home automation needs and with your robotic assistant needs, your AI needs. Vector is going to be mobile. Now again, 
he's only roughly two and a half, three inches tall, and he only has a small track base as similar to Cosmo because he is based on the Cosmo platform. But that does not mean that Vector won't be useful. Useful means will he be able to do the things you want him to do with the four ray mo microphones, with the ability to scan your face for, with his camera. So with his facial recognition, he'll be able to take a photo of your family. And he's small enough that in your home, you can pick him up and move him without a lot of effort, which is gonna be a step above some of the other platforms that are out there that are currently working. That could be very useful in the long run. Vector is also going to be self-charging as opposed to not being able to find his own charger and you having to charge him or keeping him plugged in all the time. So again, that's a step forward for Vector and for the home automation robotic craze. I do believe in the next we'll have some type of home automation robotics in our home. For a lot of different reasons, we're going to have home automation robotics in our homes. One elderly care elderly care is a huge thing right now there's a lot of us getting older in our life and in that time we are going to need that companion robot i mean it's not going to replace a dog or a cat but in addition a companion robot that will help us with our day-to-day -day operations remind us when our prescriptions are getting low reminding us to make sure that we have enough water and food and make sure that we're taking the right amount of inputs. Those things will be a welcome thing to a lot of older individuals in the generation. Also, home automation again is a huge step. Having a robot in your home that can recognize when you're there and when you're not, it will be able to contact and contribute information. Now we did have a big setback when Bosch stopped Mayfield Robotics from producing Curry because Curry was going to be a good sized robot that was going to be able to move. It was a photo log, but she did have IFTT capability and to have the ability to contribute to home automation and was a good step within the right direction. So now Anki's jumping in to fill a space such as that with Vector. Because I think Anki is managed by a bunch of individuals that can see the future. And even though they're putting it into a pint-sized robot, such as Cosmo here, they're still taking the step in the right direction. So, what's the difference between Cosmo and Vector? Vector is an autonomous robot. He will always be on. Vector will have home automation abilities. Vector is going to be able to take your photo. He's going to be able to contribute to your entertainment in a way that an Echo Dot in a Google Home can't. Because he's going to know when you're there, like Jibo. And that's pretty awesome. If you want to get on the kick of Vector and get into the Kickstarter campaign, the link for the Kickstarter campaign is below. Thank you for watching below. the video. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications. And I will see you soon. Look forward to seeing you again soon. He said it best. We'll see you soon. A little big leap. If you get in on, and I for back. Dude, Cosmo's pretty durable. He's fallen off of this thing about four times making this video. So Cosmo is a durable little robot.